Hey guys, welcome back. Unfortunately, today I'm going to be discussing um, ambrosia beetles because unfortunately, multiple of my figs have an ambrosia beetle infestation. They have never had them before, so this is the first year for them, but I knew what it was immediately when I walked outside. I was watering my garden and I knew immediately what it was. I'm going to show it to you and what they do. All right, guys, here's a fig I was trimming not long ago. You see all these? It look like little, it looks like little branches growing out of it, but they're not branches, okay? See it? This is basically the dust or the inside of your fig plant from the ambrosia beetles boring in to your fig or whatever. They actually infest more than just figs, lots of plants. Um, that's what this is. It's the stuff being pushed out from the ambrosia beetles, like sawdust, if, when you touch it. Um, this is how you know you have an infestation of ambrosia beetles. And unfortunately, since this has happened on my figs, I am going to have to cut my figs down this year. Was not expecting that. I'm going to try to save them. Now, if it hasn't bored all the way to the bottom, you can try to save them, but if they've bored all the way down, which this one, I don't know, it's, it's pretty close to the ground, so it might be in the ground. I'm going to have to get rid of this plant or chop it down and try to baby it, but it has beetles inside it, and it usually happens on um, frost-damaged plants, and you can tell I've had some damage, and we did have damage from the, the really bad freeze we had, but... It started coming back, so I thought it was going to make it, but it might not make it. And this is not the only one that has um, an infestation from the ambrosia beetles on it. So I'm going to cut this down, unfortunately. See, it's like sawdust. Um, that's what that is when you see that. It's from the ambrosia beetles. It's from the females boring in, and they're going to lay their eggs. They mate which is unfortunate because, and I don't know if that's where it got in or what, but they mate in early March, I mean late March, March to April, and I actually just saw some on this one. Let's see? So I'm going to try to save these, I'm gonna to attempt to save them, but if you see this on your plants, not just figs, it's from ambrosia beetles that are boring inside and if you do cut them off which I'm gonna cut them off the base you need to burn these immediately burn them don't keep them around because the beetles will just come out and go to more plants all right so I cut those all the way down I don't think I cut this one enough I'm gonna cut this one more oh I saw it I saw the beetle I'm gonna try to get it out Okay, I know you can't see it that well, but it's a black little, little beetle. That's the ambrosia beetle, okay? That's what is destroying my fig. Wish this would focus, but it's not. But the, you can see where the little boar marks what were. You can see I'm gonna kill both of these beetles but they're black and they're ambrosia beetles and that's what's boring into my poor baby all right as you can see i took the ones that had the whole all the holes in it i took them to the ground and some even further i ripped some root up on one see and then i also cut every single one down more than i cut it so i cut it down probably about a foot or two more to see if I can save them. I'm going to try because these are beautiful and they were older, but not now. Remember to get rid of any anything that had the ambrosia beetles in it because it lays its eggs. You see the hole right there where it was boring? I'm going to do that with the rest of my figs too. Now I just checked my third one. There was a couple of uh, holes bored at the top so I just cut them down severely again to where there was I didn't see any more damage 
or evidence of boring and I'm going to try to save my figs now I have no um, guarantees this is going to save them but I'm going to try because trying is better than just giving up but if you leave the ambrosia, ambrosia beetles inside they will kill it that is what they will do to any plant um, that you find that on so there was just a quick video on something that just happened to come upon in my garden. And I knew exactly what it was. Um, remember, if you take anything off, burn it. Get rid of it because they'll just keep coming out of it when they make their home because they bore down into it and lay eggs. So check your plants. If you have that on there. Trim it up. Try to save it if you can. If it's a fig, I can trim that easily. Now if it's a huge tree, that's a little different. But they do like trees. I think they go on maples and other stuff. So just check your check your plants, check your trees on your property. So I'll see you guys next time.